For the first time since 2015, Iowa enters the Cyhawk game without the Cyhawk trophy. Iowa State beat the Hawkeyes for the first time since 2014 last year right here at Kinnick. Now Iowa's ready to return the favor. We have an empty trophy case in there, and I feel like last year, um, you know, it barely got away from us. Um, so I feel like there's a big expectation and everybody on the team is, is very hungry to go out there and, and get that trophy back in the building. Played in the game last year and, and it being my first time playing against them and, and losing, you know, it, it hasn't hasn't sat real real well for me uh, with me. But I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the opportunity to, to go over there and, and play in Jack Trice for the first time. Should be a fun environment. So just a lot of really tough, hard, hard fought games. Um, not always predictable, but just, you know, it's, it's a tough, tough series. And the sirens that play in the, the, the stadium oh, yeah, there, yeah. Okay. just to, you know, make us mad. You know, it's playing at 5 a.m. in the morning. You're, you just don't want to, <laughs> just gets you real frustrated. It gets you a little bit more mad at them once you, once you, you want to go out there and, and perform a little, little better. Even. I love playing in rivalry games, and, you know, I just can't wait to experience you know, the Cyhawk rivalry for the first time. We were able to, you know, really um, give examples and, and how important this game is just to the state of Iowa and how big of a game it will be for us um, on Saturday. It's not just the players. The whole state is ready for Saturday at 2.30 when Iowa and Iowa State will kick off in Ames at Jack Trice Stadium. We'll have all of your coverage throughout the day, starting with Cyhawk game day at 10.30 that morning. But for now in Iowa City, Jake Brend, Local 5 Sports.